Brian Dorvan here. This is our first question in our frequently asked and should ask question series about the Environmental Professionals Network. The first question is, what is the biggest area of environmental studies and environmental business? For example, is it water, air, soil, or other things? Well, I'm going to give kind of a uh, typical not answer answer. It's whatever you want it to be. Quite honestly, it's what your interest level is. If you're really interested in water, there are clearly huge water issues. We don't have enough water on the planet to be doing the kinds of things we're doing today and sustain them over a long period of time. Air. You've heard about global warming. The fact that there are fears that we're going to see huge issues related to warming of the air. If that's a concern and interest of yours, then that's the biggest area of environmental studies and environmental business. Soils. We have contaminated soils all over the world. If you're interested in soils, then that's the biggest area of environmental studies and environmental business. So really, it's such a broad topic area. It covers so many things. It's really what's important to you. That's the biggest area of environmental studies or environmental business. If you've enjoyed this video that you just watched regarding the Environmental Professionals Network, we've got a great gift for you. If you'll just fill in your email address and first name here on the page, we'll send you a compilation of over 20 of these videos that we've done addressing frequently and should ask questions. There's so much information here. We know you're going to greatly enjoy it. They're all compiled. You don't have to go to any extra effort. Again, just leave us your email address and first name, and we'll get those right out for you. We've also got another little bonus for you, too.